Hi there everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to take you through a little bit of recap or a quick introduction to how we find the units of a KC value from the KC expression. I'm going to use this kind of fake put together equilibrium expression for this and I'm going to show you what to do and how to cancel down all the way through this. So what we've got to get started with is our equilibrium expression. You can see here that everything's got the same state symbol, so I would call this a homogeneous equilibrium. As a result, everything is going to make it into the KC expression. You need to see our video on heterogeneous equilibrium if you want to know how that can be a little bit different. So I've got my KC starting point here. KC is always square brackets, remember, concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And so making sure that I put the coefficients in as powers of I can arrange my KC expression like that. Finding the units then just takes a little bit of practice. Every time you have a set of square brackets, you have the units of moles per decimeter cubed because a square bracket represents concentration. And so here across the top, you can see I've got moles per decimeter cubed twice because I've got two concentration terms on my numerator. Underneath here though, you can see I've got some concentration terms squared Remember, that just means itself times itself. So I've expanded that a little and shown here four separate concentration sets of units along the bottom just here. So I've got moles per decimeter cubed four times all the way across. What I need to do then in order to find my units is I need to cancel out some of these terms. So I can get rid of this one just here because it can cancel out with that one. So I could get rid of it like that and that one below. Same thing again here, there they go. And what I'm left with, because I can't cancel down any of the units any further, I've got moles per decimeter cubed and moles per decimeter cubed left on the denominator just here. And so I've rewritten that just over here so you can see where I'm up to. Here with these two terms left on the bottom, my next task is to combine them together. And remember your GCSE maths, when I do that, I'm gonna add up the powers of. And so I leave myself here with one over mole squared, because I had two separate mole terms just here, and dm to the power of minus six, because I had two dm to the power of minus three over here, and I've just added them up. I then want to move this up to the top line. You do need to do this. You can't leave it like that. It's not a finished answer. And so when I move things up to the top, I'm gonna reverse the sign on the power of. So the squared here becomes minus two, and the minus six just becomes a six. For KC, you can sometimes end up with no units, and that will happen if everything cancels out at this stage just here. You can end up with a really weird mix of units as well, where you can have mole, which could be uh, cubed, or you could end up with negative values like this one. Don't worry about it, just follow the rule set each time and you'll see that some are more common than others in the exam. I hope this gives you a nice quick introduction or a bit of recap of how to find the units of KC. Until next time, happy revising. Thanks very much for watching. Click the links on screen now to be taken to more of our videos on module five of the OCRA specification.